ay nalulungkot kumantong sa ganito ang mga pangyayari. Pero upang pangalagaan ng ating demokrasya at hayaan maghari ang kapayapaan sa ating bansa, hinihiling ko ngayon sa ating kongreso na tumawag ng isang snap presidential election kasabay ng congressional at local elections na gaganapin sa darating na Mayo. Hindi ako lalahok sa snap election na ito. At agad kong ililipat ang kapangyarihan ng tanggapan ng Pangulo sa sino mam mahalal bilang aking kapalit. In today's episode of Lore Automation, we will be dwelling on the achievements of one of the controversial presidents of the Philippines, specifically the contributions and achievements in the field of science and technology under his administration. Who's this controversial president we're talking about exactly? Well, the ninth vice president of the Philippines who eventually became the 13th president of the Philippines who was ousted from his office. None, None other, other than, than former president Joseph Estrada. But before that, I think it will be efficient if we first talk about Joseph Estrada's life and his background as former vice president and president of the Philippines. Before we formally dwell in the achievements in the field of science and technology during former president Joseph Estrada's administration, let us get to know Joseph Estrada as the former president of the Republic of the Philippines. Joseph Ejercito Estrada, born on April 19, 1937, Filipino actor and politician who served as the 19th president of the Philippines 1998 to 2001 and later mayor of Manila 2013-2019. He served as senator from 1969 to 1986. On January 20, 2001, Estrada was ousted amid mass protest and his vice president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo ascended to the presidency as a corruption scandal erupted in July 2000. And in September 2007, he was convicted of plundering and sentenced to a maximum of 40 years in prison. Now that we are acquainted with the life and legacy of Joseph Estrada, let us now formally discuss the achievements in the field of science and technology under his administration. It should be noted that the achievements in the field of science and technology under Estrada's administration are mostly the legalities, republic acts and laws overseeing the field of science and technology. During his short term of only 31 months, these contributions came to life. First is the Republic Act 8749 or the Philippine Clean Air Act. Next is the Republic Act number 8756 or the Incentives for Regional Headquarters of Foreign Multinationals. Then we have the Republic Act 8762 or the Retail Trade Liberalization Act. Next is the Republic Act number 8791 or New General Banking Act. Republic Act 8791 or the New General Banking Act opens up the local banking industry to foreign players after almost 50 years of having it exclusively reserved and protected for Filipino nationals with the country's finance and banking industries liberalization at this time foreign banks have already established their presence in the Philippines. Then we have the Republic Act 8792 or the Electronic Commerce Act of 2000. Republic Act 8792, the Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, outlaws computer hacking and provides opportunities for new businesses emerging from the internet-driven new economy. Republic Act number 8799 or the New Securities Act. Republic Act 8799 or the New Securities Act liberalizes the securities market by shifting policy from merit regulation to full disclosure. With its strengthened provisions against fraud, the measure is expected to pave the way for the full development of the Philippine equities and securities market. Then we have the implementation of the Climate Information Monitoring and Prediction Services. The implementation of the Climate Information Monitoring and Projection Services has helped in making weather forecasting more useful 
and managing agriculture and water resources, health, and providing the country the best possible climate information, including expectations of future conditions to improve economic and social decisions that will reduce risks and improve economic vitality as well as quality of life. In general, it is meant to provide science-based and user-specific information for managing risks and exploiting opportunities created by climate variability and change, thereby helping society to become more resilient in coping with the increasing impacts of climate change. Another achievement is the launching of the Mobile Information Technology Classrooms in Mindanao. The launching of the Mobile Information Technology Classroom in Mindanao provides students with hands-on training in IT lessons, system, and national life. This event paved way for the digital literacy of Mindanao students. Since its launch in 2008, it has since provided basic computer literacy to thousands of students, pupils, and teachers in Mindanao. Then we have the computerized validity machine in treasury department and microprinting, reading, and microcomputer in municipal assessor's office at San Jose. Lastly, the implementation of the GAINS expert program or the GAINX. Although we are aware of how Joseph Estrada was ousted out of office, there are still significant achievements and contributions in, this, in the field of science and technology under his administration. We have finally talked about all the achievements and contributions in the field of science and technology under the administration of former President Joseph Estrada. Another episode of Lore Automation has finally concluded. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Once again, I am Gwen. And I am Dalen from Lore Automation. Thank you for watching.